It's a real stinker. That's what some folks are saying about a proposal that would prohibit people who smell bad from using Oahu's public transportation, including the future rail system. KGMB9's Brooks Bear joins us with the story. The proposed odor ordinance wouldn't just pertain to Oahu's planned railway, it would also apply to the bus. We want basically a safe and healthy environment because it's public facility and we have an obligation. City Councilman Rod Tam co-authored the proposed ordinance. It would prohibit odors from transit property, whether such odors arise from one's person, clothes, articles, accompanying animal, or any other source. We look in terms of health for our society. You know, in many times when a person has a particular odor, you may think that person is sick have bacteria, diseases, and down, <laughs> you know. Pretty bad? Yeah, actually, yes. Couple Lay resident Tommy Griffin says in her 39 years of riding the bus, she's run into some horrible smells, but doesn't think people should be kicked off just because they reek. These kind of people don't have a car, don't have money. That's why they live that way, so, you know. You cannot do that. To me, that's a bad idea. We got enough government agency telling us what not to do. No, bad idea. These ladies wonder who would make the call about what smells too bad and what smells bad but not bad enough to get the boot. Be the bus driver? Oh, you're going to have somebody? Call? Yeah. Uh, an officer and tell him, I'm stopping the bus, could you get this guy out? Tam says he included the odor element in the bill after talking to constituents, but points out the bill also prohibits other things, including spitting, loud music, and raucous behavior. Anyone who wants to comment on the proposed ordinance can do so at 9 o'clock this Thursday morning during a committee meeting at City Hall. Brooks Bear, KGMB 9 News.